from Indie Streaming News Leader. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Rafael Sanchez and these are your latest headlines. Authorities say an Indiana woman is among the victims who died in a helicopter crash. This happened in Alaska last week. Investigators tell us that 26-year-old Tori Moore of South Bend was one of three scientists on board. The pilots and three scientists on board all died in that crash. The wreckage was located inside a lake. Authorities plan on attempting to revive the wreckage sometime this week. Broad Ripple businesses say it's been quieter and safer after safety upgrades were launched three weeks ago. Right now, businesses have to close by 1 in the morning and barricades block a former troubled parking lot. Metro Police say lights and cameras have also been added throughout the village, but the changes are not without some costs. The Broad Ripple Village Association says that some businesses report that they're losing money. Drivers on the Purdue University campus in West Lafayette will need to slow down their roles starting next month. University officials say they're lowering speed limits on a number of streets. We have a list of those specific streets seeing those changes right on our website at WRTV.com. Officials with Purdue and West Lafayette say the lower speed limits will lead, they hope, to safer spaces for pedestrians. Those new, those new rules are set to go into effect by August. Let's check your forecast on this Monday morning. Todd Clausen, what do you see out there? Yeah, it's going to be a warm day for us here, Raphael's temperatures climbing into the upper 80s. Some of you could touch uh, 90 degrees. If you don't do it today, you will in the coming days. There's a marginal risk for severe storms out there. Muncie to Indy down towards Bloomington. Our storm chances uh, today after we had some storms earlier this morning, but most of the daytime hours will be dry. Uh, but this evening, I would say after 5 p.m., there'll be the chance of just a couple isolated storms once again. That Severe risk is out there for the potential uh, for some damaging wind. Tomorrow, we're looking at temperatures a little bit closer to 90 degrees, and then the rest of the week will be in the 90s with Friday, Raphael, potentially being the hottest day near 95 degrees. Uh, Todd, thank you for that. For the latest weather conditions and the stories that you need to know, please download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.